Hi all and welcome back to uh, the training room. So um, I'm going to start doing some of these videos about some of the kit that we carry and some of the things and interventions that we have to do. Um, so if you've got any suggestions or is there anything you want to see then uh, please do just drop a note in the comments or on the community page and I'll see what I can do. Um, but for today I'm going to go through our Lucas 3 chest compression device. So uh, let's have a look. So this is the um, this is the Lucas 3 chest compression device and this is the case it comes in. Um, so we use this for undertaking CPR in a cardiac arrest patient and the main reasons that we'd use this bit of kit uh, and where it comes into its own is really where you're doing either protracted cardiac compression so the, um, the arrest is going to be going on for a long time or you have to move the patient because we know that doing chest compressions in the back of a moving vehicle is dangerous and not very effective. Um, and also if you haven't got enough resources to be adequately managing the cardiac arrest as well as doing the chest compressions. And so that's where this bit of kit really does come into its own because it can take over the chest compressions for you. So if we have a quick look at the actual bit of kit, when you open up and have a look, this is how it comes and this is what it looks like and we'll talk through some of the various bits and then we'll apply it and um, so you can see it in action but this is what it comes in this is the main unit itself that we'll put on comes with the back cord that goes behind uh, the patient uh, and then it does also have spare batteries and charging cables within that as well if you need to but these are the main components of it so let's have a look see how it fits. So if we go out to our patient and they're in cardiac arrest, CPR will already be ongoing, so people will be doing CPR. So what you have to do is you have to try and coordinate putting this on whilst minimising the amount of time that you're off the chest. And there are various ways of doing that, but because I'm on my own, I can't really show you properly, but it'll give you the insight as to what's going on. So the backboard goes underneath the patient and sits on their back just here. This bit of kit then goes on the top. So you turn it on, in, in anticipation and you then clip these two bits on either side just here like that you then make sure it's sitting high enough on the patient there we go so then you need this bit sitting right in the middle of the chest the plunger then comes down you then tell the machine that you're ready and you then ask it to start compressions. And it'll take over CPR for you. As you can see, it then automatically measures the depth of the chest that it needs to go to, and then it will just carry on as long as we need it to. It does have indications up here to tell you how long the battery is going to last, and then also what rate you want it to do. At the moment, I've set it to continuous, so it'll just keep on going. But you can also then tell it to do 30 to 2, so with the, new, with the uh, ALS algorithm, it will pause to allow you to do some ventilations if you need to. Really useful bit of kit, and can really save a lot of the workload if there's not many of you on the job. And that's it, that's the Lucas 3 device, that's the chest compression device. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below and um, I'll do my best to answer them. If you want to see anything else, also do let me know. Thanks very much, bye.